Sergeant, Samuel's in the wine again. Hi. I'm Fred, and today my colleague Samuel here will be talking about 17th century English gowns and casks. In today's world, we use the term barrel for a wide variety of containers of various sizes that usually have a similar shape. However, in 17th century England, the term barrel meant a cask of a specific size, with cask being the general term for a stave-built container. And even with a barrel being a specific type of cask, not all barrels were the same size. And that was due to the different measurements of cask sizes and the different definitions of a gallon in the 17th century, the wine gallon and the ale and beer gallon. To start, we first see the concept of a gallon appear on a treatise in weights and measures written in 1303 during the rule of Edward I. It described how a container filled to the brim with eight tower pounds of wheat was equal to the volume of a wine gallon. Now, fast forward in time to the Tudor period in England, and if you remember from our weights video, the Tudors began to regulate and standardize weights and measures. However, the definition of a gallon was never standardized other than the 1303 treatise. And in the 17th century, we see those two distinct gallons in use, though always not well defined. Again, the wine gallon and the ale or beer gallon. And while the gallons were different sizes, they were not standardized until 1707, but we'll get into that later. Now, as the wine gallon became popular, more and more different sizes of casks come about. Starting big, there is the wine ton containing 252 gallons, then the wine butt at 126 gallons, the wine puncheon with 84 gallons, which is a third of a ton. Then there's the wine hogshead, which is a quarter of a ton at 63 gallons, and also the cask I was in at the start of the video. Then the wine tears at a third of a butt at 42 gallons, then the wine barrel at 31 and a half gallons and half hogshead. And finally, the wine runlet at 18 gallons. And if you were to look at the tonnage of a ship, it was actually tied to the capacity to carry wine tons. For example, the Susan Constant having a capacity of 120 ton, Godspeed a capacity of 40 ton, and Discovery 20 ton. And as Great Britain was formed by the Act of Union in 1707, the wine gallon measurement became standardized as a volume of 231 cubic inches. And since the independence, the United States has retained the English wine gallon as the U.S. customary gallon. Now, jumping back in time, let's talk about the ale and beer gallon and their casks. In 1531, the Cooper's Guild was given the authority to manage all casks manufactured by brewers. In the law stating the Cooper's Guild authority, it also dictated three distinct sizes, the firkin, the kilderkin, and the barrel. And though the ale and beer casks would hold different volumes, they would use the same size gallon. The ale firkin held 8 gallons, the beer firkin held 9 gallons. The ale kilderkin held 16 gallons, the beer kilderkin had 18 gallons. And the ale barrel held 32 gallons, while the beer barrel held 36 gallons. And other than the firkin, kilderkin, and barrel, there could also be a hogshead. The ale hogshead holding 48 gallons, while the beer hogshead held 54 gallons with the volume of a ale or beer hogshead equal to three kilverkins. And just as the wine gallon was standardized in 1707, the ale and beer gallon were standardized as well, with the volume becoming 282 cubic inches. And as time went on, the gallon would change again, of course. The British Weights and Measures Act of 1824, creating the imperial system, repealed all existing British Weights and Measures legislation, some dating back to the 1300s, Treatise on Weights and Measures, and redefined existing units of measure. 
with a gallon now defined as the capacity of 10 pounds of water at 62 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 20% larger than the old wine gallon, but slightly smaller than the old ale and beer gallon. And as I mentioned, the US customary gallon is tied to the old English wine gallon, but the UK's imperial gallon is tied to neither. And that is the reason why the US and UK use two different size gallons. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into 17th century gallon and cask measurements, and if you did, be sure to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now for a deep dive into this cask. <laughs> <laughs>